Hello, our lesson today is going to concern itself with how do we choose which scene is going to be visible at one time. The joy of using this type of software is that we can layer tracks on top of each other and we can either combine the tracks together in a composite shot or we can choose individual tracks to be seen at any one time. How do we do that? Well, first of all, let's take this uh, clip here and drag it right underneath the other one under the video overlay it's labeled. And then we'll take this one and drag that right underneath. So now we have three tracks, one on top of the other. And when I clip on the scrub line, you notice that I only see the top track. Why is that? Well, it's because that we're looking from the top down. Imagine that each of these uh, clips are like a, a sheet of thick paper, black paper, for instance. And the top one is only going to be visible. You're not going to see the ones that are directly underneath. And this is the same thing in this software. So how do we change what we see and how we see it? There are two different ways we can do a composite, which means a combination of two or more video tracks together. I'll show you how to do that right now. We'll go up here to the top of this clip until we see our hand there and our arrows, and that's the opacity. Opacity to 100% means that it's uh, uh, nothing you can't see underneath it. Uh, transparency, of course, means that you can see through it. 100% opacity means that nothing underneath is visible. If we drag that down, you notice what happens. Immediately, I see both tracks. I see the subway scene and I see the house scene. This is a composite scene, uh, two or more together. Uh, various effects can be achieved by using that. The same thing happens if I go to the next clip, this one, and adjust that down. Now we're seeing a composite of the boating scene, subway, and the top house scene. We've got three together. That's one way, but it wouldn't be very effective because that's quite a confusing scene right there. So that's not something we're going to be using too often until we get more into the elaborate effects. Let's change the opacity back up to 100% on all these clips. And we'll show another way, a more familiar way, as far as probably you're going to be using it more, to decide what clip is going to be used at any one time. I'm going to drag these clips out. You notice I'm taking my left button here, positioning my cursor right where I see that box and the arrow, and I'm going to drag it out so it lasts longer. Basically, all it's going to do is loop that scene over and over again. Let's do it for the rest of them so I have a little more to work with here. And we'll do it with the one below. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a video envelope. A video envelope. I'm going to right click over here on the track, insert remove envelope, and then do a composite video envelope right there. I'm going to do the same thing with the next track. Composite level. And then you've guessed it, we're going to do the same thing with the third track. Now all three have a composite level, and you notice there's a nice bluish type line right above each track. And we're going to manipulate that line to discuss and discover how to change the scenes. And in other words, make each track visible at any one time. You notice that if I go up here and I double click, there is a little box that appears. Let me get the cursor out of the way. You see that little box right there? Let me double click again and make two boxes. These are going to be our handles. And if I left click right on this box here and drag it down, look at that. I've created an envelope. I've created a 90 degree line right there. Let's see what happens. When I go here and the opacity is 100%, remember we talked about you're going to see the top one only. When I go here, my opacity is down to zero. It means totally transparent. I don't see anything of this track here. I now see the second track. That is the one I want to see. So here, if I want to go back to my scene up above, I would simply double click and double click again to make two different handles. And then I'm going to left click and pull that up again. You see what I'm doing? So now I'm seeing, in this particular place here, I'm seeing the top video track. Here I'm seeing the one underneath it. And then here again, I'm seeing the top one. 
let's see how that looks when we actually are playing it. I'll position my cursor here, and let's just watch up here what happens as I hit those video envelopes. It's going to the bottom, the second track, and now it's playing that, and in just a few seconds, it's going to go to the top track now as we watch it here. There it goes. Okay, now what happens if I want to see the bottom track? Well, there again, if, let's say we'll go into this envelope area here. I've eliminated the top track by changing the opacity uh, so that it's totally transparent, totally at zero. And I can do the same for the second track. I'm going to double click here, make a handle, double click here, drag that all the way down. And now I see the third track. You see how I'm doing that? We're seeing the top track is disappeared. Now the bot the second track has disappeared. And now the bottom track is the only one visible. And so this way I can choose to see the bottom track. Now let's say that I want to go back up to the top track. Well, to do that, I simply go back up here where we want the cursor at. One more to the top one. And now you see that the composite, because it's all the way up, the composite level is all the way up, now I'm seeing that top track. So let's just do a little practicing here. Let's say on this one I want to see the second track. How do I do that? Remember, we make our two handles by double-clicking on that line, dragging it down like this. Now you notice there's a 90-degree angle, which means that the transition rate is going to be immediately. See how it just jumps one to the other. There's no in-between. It's just boom, it's there. What if I wanted a gradual composite change? Well, that's real easy. I left click here and drag. Let me get that right on the box. I drag it like that. So there's a nice angle to it. Now let's watch and see what that does on our track. Now it's going to be a gradual change. You see that? Gradual compared to a 90 degree change, which is abrupt and immediate. So let's say that I want to see that bottom track. Actually, we are seeing the bottom track. Let's say I want to see the second track. What I'm going to do is go on the second track, make a couple handles, pull that up like that. I can go at an angle if you want to. Now what do I see? I see the second track because the top track has been dragged down so that there's nothing showing at all. The second track is dragged up. And remember, whatever is on top, if it's 100% opacity, that's what you're going to see because you're automatically not going to see that third track because it's being covered up currently by this track. Now, if I pull this opacity down here, the composite level, yank that down, now we see that third track because this is at zero, the composite level, track number two, and track number one is at zero. This gives you an idea on how to select tracks. Now, many times, for instance, if you were doing a wedding video and you had three separate camera views of the same wedding running at the same time, you could load all three camera views on each timeline and then decide which view you want to see at any one time. You could see the back of the bride, for instance, the front of the bride, the side. You know, this is how you would choose which scene that you want. And you, you would see a, a up and down, a composite curve right along these tracks, indicating which track would be visible at any one time.